Overcoming fear of the Blender interface. Uh, when I first uh, downloaded Blender, I heard about this great tool, and I heard it was freely available. It did everything, and I was so excited. And when I first um, loaded it up um, and installed it, I found a similar a situation that looked like this. I had a little box in the center. I had some weird-looking icons, and I had a whole bunch of buttons down here at the bottom like this, and uh, it was a bit perplexing. So what I did was I started left-clicking on stuff, and I tried to left click on what I thought was the camera here and um, I was able to move around uh, actually this wasn't even there I don't think yeah it looked like this so uh, I didn't even have any manipulators to see and um, you know I, I, I tried uh, right clicking expecting like a menu to pop up and uh, nothing did things would kinda highlight and stuff and um, and so I, uh, I just clicked on a bunch, of, I found a bunch of buttons down here, I selected through these, and I couldn't tell what they were because, you know, a lot of them had like really weird names like Dupliverts and what, what's a Duplivert and stuff. And, um, and it, it, as you can see, Blender interface is really big on using like these kind of uh, shortenings. So offs, and uh, well it's for offset and stuff, ran, randomize, PR speed. So for example, it was, it was just kind of a mess and uh, I couldn't figure it out. And so this video is for people who just downloaded Blender and feel a little bit, bit bewildered. So let me walk through this. If you've used other 3D programs, I'll show you how the interface is a little bit different and weird. Once you get over that hump, I think you'll find it a uh, more enjoyable program to use. Um, so the left mouse button actually moves this little target icon around. Oops. As you can see, it moves that around. So for example, um, the space bar brings up your little toolbox. Like in Maya, you have the space bar, uh, you hold that down. You just press space bar, and wherever your mouse is, that will come up with a menu that will let you do different things. So for example, if you wanted to add a mesh, like if you wanted to add the monkey mesh, it will add it wherever that cursor is. Wherever you left click to place that cursor, that's where it will happen. All right, that's the purpose behind that. Right clicking will select things, which is different from other uh, programs. All right, and um, once you've selected something by right-clicking on it, if you left-click and kind of drag, then you'll be able to, to move your object around. But that's not very good. Um, it's not as useful as in other 3D programs. If you go down here, there's a little hand icon that will turn on your 3D manipulator. So this is similar to other programs. You can still kind of drag and drag it around. And then you have your translate, your um, rotate, and your scale okay and you can turn them by holding down shift you can turn them all on at the same time so you can translate rotate and scale all with one tool and you can limit it to whatever you want so all right so that helps out um, another thing was uh, I tried to like pressing some number keys on the uh, keyboard and all my objects disappeared and that's because as you can see down here these little chips these are layers and uh, we're in layer two now, layer three, and so all my objects were on layer one, and uh, I was trying to figure out, oh my god, I, all my objects are gone. So remember that the, uh, the buttons on your main keyboard go through your layers, and the buttons on your number pad actually control your orthographic views. So zero is the camera view, one is, I think, front, two, three, four. And uh, as you can see here, things kind of looked a little bit um, weird in these views. Some of them I couldn't figure out what was going on. Uh, they didn't look like the orthographic views I was used to. And um, what you need to do is, if you have, like this, this view looks like an orthographic, oops. This view looks like an orthographic view I'm used to. Oops, I'm holding on the wrong button. And um, this, this one here is kind of like what I was getting, all right? So what you have to do is the five button on the number pad toggles between kind of a, um, a standard view and an orthographic view okay all right so I hope that uh, helps out with that the other thing was uh, how once I had these objects these primitive objects in here I didn't know how to edit them and as you can see down here in your header of your 3d view you have a mode you have an object mode and edit mode and so when you go into edit mode and the hotkey for this is tab tab and now you're in object mode you can move your object around in the scene uh, tab and now you can edit the vertices and faces and stuff of that object okay and now oh you can see over here your selection sets you've got vertices and edges 
again right clicking and faces right click okay and once you've got these things selected when you hit the space bar you'll be able to go in your edit and for example if you wanted to do things with faces you'd be able to go in here and select that okay all right so tab back into object mode okay and um so that's uh, some of the basics. Um, also, the buttons down here. The buttons I found to be very confusing. And um, what I found was um, the buttons look very small. And a lot of times when I would, maybe if I tab, no, it's not. Uh, a lot of times the buttons were kind of these kind of panels and they were kind of laying over each other like this. And as you can see, you can actually drag these buttons around, these button panels, I mean. You can drag them, you can dock them onto each other and tear them away from each other. And also, if you hold down Control and Alt, you can zoom in and out of the buttons. These buttons are actually OpenGL objects, so you can actually zoom in here and get... Um, so if the buttons look kind of small or if it's hard to read them, you can do this. And with the middle mouse button, you can pan around in here. All right, that's navigating in the button view. Uh, navigating in the 3D view is kind of similar. Um, hold down the middle mouse button and you can orbit your camera around. Uh, scroll the, the middle mouse scroll wheel and you can zoom in and out and holding shift and middle mouse dragging will pan your view okay and um, so that's uh, that's how you get around in the views and things like that the other thing that helped me out was once I found out that there's if you look down here in the corner it'll show you these different views that you can bring up okay and uh, the 3d view is the one you'll of course be using to manipulate your objects and once I found that there is an, this thing called the outliner, the outliner view, um, then uh, this resembled something I, you know, like the tree view that is in, you know, a scene explorer type of thing that is available in, in most um, 3D programs. And as you can see, you can do the standard things. You can hide and show objects, and you can make them deselectable so you cannot deselect them by accident and, and manipulate them by accident. Okay. Um, the one thing you can't do here that you can do in most other 3D programs is, for example, let's say I wanted to parent this light to the monkey mesh called Suzanne here. Um, in most things, I can drag and drop this lamp onto this object. And so far in, in Blender, you can't do that. You would have to select something and then uh, shift, right click to multiple select another thing and then hit P to parent and stuff. So, oops. Oh, I'm sorry. Control P. P is the game engine, make parent, all right? So then you'll see that little wire, which will show that they're attached. And then you can just right click to select um, the object that you want to unparent, and then Alt P will clear the parent child relationship, okay? Um, so that's some of the basics. Um, the other thing is, uh, let me go to file new, all right? And space, I'll add the mesh to show you Again, if you saw this this opening scene and you keep getting tired of having to delete this stupid cube, you can delete do is oh also X is to delete, not the delete key. And um, once you've got your interface set up the way you want, you can go to File, Save Factory Defaults, and that will save your interface the way that it is now. So you won't have to keep deleting that stupid cube. Uh, one last thing is also you can have multiple um, setups for your interface. So you can set up your interface windows the way you want. As you can see, you can drag these windows around and you can kind of split them by right clicking and saying split. So you can have as many of these windows as you want. You can right click and say join, drag and join. Okay, so um, you can have uh, up here, when you click on these, you can have a bunch of different setups. The, get your windows the way you like it and then you can just kind of switch between them like this. All right, so that's kind of like a, uh, a basic look at Blender. If you're having trouble with the interface, if it doesn't make sense to you, uh, and I hope that helps out, um, makes Blender more enjoyable to you.